Bantry Bay, West Cork. The second largest deep natural port in Europe, located at the far edge of Ireland, is a very special place with very special plants. West Cork is one of the most beautiful and biodiverse parts of Ireland. The climate, range of habitats and geology is what makes it special for plants. Bantry Bay has a mild Atlantic climate. Temperatures rarely go below freezing in winter and the summers are relatively cool. The prevailing southwesterly winds bring warm air and frequent rain. Non-flowering plants such as ferns, mosses and liverworts thrive in this mild, humid environment, making West Cork a special place for these species. The geology of old red sandstone, carboniferous slates and glacial deposits provide a wide range of habitats around Bantry Bay and the flanking peninsulas. There are offshore islands, rocky shores, high mountains, broadleaf woodlands, peat bogs and lakes. Along the shore and on the seabed, there's an amazing range of seaweeds. Seaweeds are strange plants. Some appear almost alien in form. They are plants that don't have flowers or pollen and that reproduce in ways that pose puzzles to even the experts. So much of their detail and their beauty is usually hidden from view. Looking through a microscope, a hand lens or a macro lens on a camera or mobile phone reveals tiny details and much that is strange and unexpected. When Ireland's first female botanist Ellen Hutchins walked the shores of Bantry Bay over 200 years ago, she describes seaweeds as a curious and difficult branch of botany. She was delighted by the beauty of many of them, but mostly interested in the science behind them. Botanists at that time were still trying to classify seaweeds and find out how many different species existed. In some cases, it was unclear whether the seaweed belonged to the plant or animal kingdom. Ellen discovered many species that were new to science, some of which were named after her. For example, Cladophora hutchinsiae. These seaweeds and many others provide an important nursery and habitat for fish, insects and birds that feed off them and are vital for a healthy ecosystem. Today, Bantry Bay, at the edge of Europe, at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean is still a wonderful place to get close to coastal plant life and to see the great diversity, strangeness and beauty of seaweeds. <laughs>